companions respected chief guest honorable judges and dear audience assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh today i'll speak on the topic ideal manners of prophet muhammad peace be upon him dear friends good morals and ethics are one of the most important teachings of islam the quran hadith and the life of the holy prophet are full of moral teachings the holy quran invites muslims to be honest truthful trustworthy and useful for others it asks them to shun hurting people backbiting mocking and cheating was disallowed the holy quran demands muslims to be clean hearted and fair in their transactions and dealings they should not hurt anyone and use impolite language Muslims neither should defame one another nor call anyone with bad names The Holy Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said Inna min khiyarikum ahsanukum akhlaqa the best among you are those who have good morals And Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was reported to repeat this question thrice He asked his companions three times Should I tell you who is most beloved and nearer to me in qiyamah Should I tell you who is most beloved and nearer to me in qiyamah? Should I tell you who is most beloved and nearer to me in qiyamah? The companions said, "Yes, O Messenger. Why not, O Prophet?" Then he said, "Those who are the best among you in manners." Dear audience, our Prophet Allah bless him and give him peace was the best example of morals. Due to his fair and transparent dealings he was called even by his bitter enemies as sadiq al amin the truthful and the trustworthy people used to give their deposits to him for safety and he always fulfilled their expectations he invariably stood by his words he paid affectionate visits to his relatives and his friends and he would never permit anybody to backbite others Our Prophet Allah bless him and give him peace treated everyone with great respect and good behavior he never attempted to retaliate against the insults and disrespect he forgave people's mistakes and their misconduct his reaction to the disregard of ignorant people was forgiveness and tolerance in spite of all the tortures that his opponents inflicted upon him he forgave them on conquering Mecca All these evidences speak highly of the prophet's ideal manners and his character. It is essential for every true Muslim to follow the conduct of his beloved prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. That's why the Holy Quran declared him as the role model and asked Muslims to follow him. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says in the Holy Quran in Surah Al Ahzab, chapter number thirty-three. آية نمبر 21 لقد كان لكم في رسول الله أسوة حسنة there is indeed a good model for you in the messenger of Allah but it is regretful that the moral situation of Muslims all around the globe is very poor people who interact with Muslims complain of their immorality and misbehavior however if we cast a cursory glance at Islamic history we will come across bright examples of morality and good manners not to speak of high morals and noble character of the holy prophet even common muslims were civilized common muslims were well mannered in the days of muslim glory the history bears witness that muslims wherever went they impressed the local people 
with their transparent dealings, their disciplined and fair way of life. In Indian subcontinent, Islam was propagated by Muslim traders and saints who won the heart of people with their good behavior. Their friends, good manners were the main factor that attracted people to come closer to Islam. But it is pity that we are harming Islam by our bad moral situation. So Muslims need to adopt good morals of Islam and a profound contribution to the domain of thoughts. Eastern Crescent, Alternative Media, People's Choice. For subscription and other details, please contact us on 022-2677-1618 or 022-2679-8538. You may also log on to www.easterncrescent.in.